I think my cat is trying to kill himself. And that's probably because Teddy is 64 cat years old and he's seen a lot. He lived on the streets for 9 years before I adopted him Ow. and I don't know what he's seen or done but he's kind of a perv. Ew. But I love Teddy Bear more than anyone on earth. He listens to me, he holds my hand and he even kind of lets me hold him. But he doesn't love me back. I think I can get him to love me if I just try harder. <laughs> what do you think? No, don't go. <laughs> anyway, last year I caught Teddy eating plastic. Cats can't eat plastic. If they eat too much plastic, it gets stuck in their intestines and they die. And the veterinarian couldn't tell how much plastic he ate and it would cost me over $3,000. So I didn't do it. Instead, the vet gave me the option of watching him go to the bathroom. If he poops, then there's no plastic stuck in his intestines and he won't die and he might actually love me back. So I wrote a Python script, set up a camera, a motion sensor, and put it above his litter box to take a picture every time he went to the bathroom. That way, I could see if he was constipated or not. But there was a tiny problem, this is Luna, this is technically not my cat, this is Teddy Bear's cat, and she uses the same litter box as Teddy. So when I see poop, I don't know who pooped, there's too many poops. Also, Teddy was not impressed with my python script, but I think I can really really impress him and get him to love me back with machine learning. <laughs> I did a lot of research and found I need to take a whole bunch of pictures. Luckily, I already have a picture taking script that can take several pictures a second. And now I just need to put it where it's actually gonna be, right there above the litter box. And I'm not just gonna put a table, I wanna show Teddy how much I love him by completely remodeling his bathroom. I made a drawer thing to hide the computer and sensors and, oh my God. <laughs> and a cute grass mat for his paws. I thought I was ready to take the pictures, but there was a problem. When I tested my camera, I realized I couldn't see anything. It was up to Teddy to decide what to do next. What do you think about flashes, Teddy? Infrared it is. The new plan was to use infrared lights and a camera without an infrared filter so I can see the cats pooping in sort of like a night vision. I made tiny little infrared stadium lights to flash whenever it takes a picture. And what's really cool is that you can't see the infrared lights to the naked eye, but the camera can. And cats cannot see infrared lights. They, they can't. I added a thermal camera to make a live feed of Teddy pooping and mounted everything to the drawer so that the sensors, camera and lights would be below pointing down at the cats and the computer and everything else above behind cleaning supplies. And this is when I was finally able to take over 50,000 pictures of Teddy and his cat pooping. I finished remodeling Teddy's bathroom as this was the only way I could really impress him. No detail was spared. This is Teddy Bear's bathroom before the remodel. He was a very sad cat with a very sad gray bathroom. This is his bathroom after the remodel. And this is Teddy Bear seeing his new bathroom for the very first time. He was really excited. What do you think about your new bathroom? Don't eat. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love you too. My plan to get Teddy Bear to love me is working. And the next step is to take the 2 million pictures that I took of my cats, crop them and feed them into the machine learning script so that the computer knows what Teddy looks like. It took all night to crop the pictures. And this is when I realized I didn't know how to tell the computer if they were pooping or peeing. So I camped at Teddy's bathroom to see how long it takes him to pee or poop. But after hours of no cats, I remember that the photos I took have data. Every picture comes with a timestamp, so I was able to... I'm trying to save your life! So I was able to calculate exactly how long it takes them to poo or pee. And, and the machine learning failed. And I failed as a cat mom, as an engineer, and as a YouTuber. <laughs> but I really want Teddy to love me, and the only way to do that is with machine learning. So I tried everything I found on the internet. Teddy found this obscure company that had a free trial that actually worked. Mm. And the way that it should work is that it takes a picture, it sends it to a server, which processes the image, sends back the prediction to my computer, tells me which cat is pooping, and with my math, I know if they're pooping or peeing. Teddy, you wanna test the prediction thing? Okay. Okay, he's taking the picture. And... You're pooping? 
percent Teddy. Here's a picture I took. <laughs> oh, this is a. Thank you, Teddy. Luna. Stay here. Stay, 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 stay. Hold on. Yes. That's it. That's it. You can. You can leave now. 97% Luna! The prediction was so difficult to make, but it is accurate! 93% Luna! Well, that's my other cat. All that is left to do to make Teddy love me is to make a website with his face, a pooping life thermal feed, and make it mobile friendly in case he wants to look at his health stats on his phone. What do you think about your website? I think he likes it. And this is what it looks like. It shows a vacant sign when the litter box is empty, and when a cat walks in, it takes a picture. It is processed by the prediction algorithm, tells me which cat is using the bathroom, and shows all the stats, temperature, live feed. And when they're done, it tells me what they did, which in this case, it was poop. And I save all the data, so now I definitely know when Teddy Bear is not pooping and needs to go to the hospital. Mm, that was definitely poop. There it is. And that's it! Oh, good job, Teddy! You wanna see it? Okay, bye! I think he loves me now! Did I spend more than a year making this? Yes! Did I make an AI whose only purpose in life is to watch my cat's poop? Mm-hmm! Will it come after me when the machines rise? No! Ew!